Our main character Caveman named Spear goes fishing and narrowly escapes death. Our main character leaves in a world where dinosaurs still exist. And after hiding from a beast, gets home a little later and sees tracks leading to his home. He hears screams and finds that two theropod dinosaurs have eaten his wife and his children. And he felt helpless to do anything about it. Ladder revealed, there are actually three dinosaurs, and they are the just the kids of a much larger one, who's probably their mother. Completely depressed at losing his family, he climbs a mountain and makes the decision to take his own life, however sees his wife and children as the sun comes up, knows they would have wanted him to continue living. He decides to live for his loved ones. Later, he sees a dinosaur, thinking, it's the same kind of dinosaur that killed his family wanting to exact revenge on his family. Additionally, it is revealed when he pursues her inside her cave that she was not the one who killed his family. She has two kids, a mother with her two kids, and they are all by themselves, just like his wife and kids were before he arrived home and regrettably was unable to intervene to save them. He struggles with the idea of doing it. Before anything more may happen, a large dinosaur appears and launches an attack. The mother dinosaur and the spear together defend her young while also killing the remaining dinosaur. After he vanquishes the dinosaurs one of the young Rexes gives him a hug. Seeing as how they enjoy him, the mother T-Rex puts up with him and admits that, after all, he is a friend because he did assist in defending her own kids. However, the relief is only momentary as the much bigger and more protective dinosaur arrives to avenge his offsprings. The mother dinosaur's young child are ultimately killed by this much larger dinosaur. Together, Spear and the mother dinosaur are able to defeat him at the expense of their two offspring. After losing her young, the mother dinosaur is devastated, feeling terrible. Spear departs along the ocean, but he can hear the lone mother dinosaur pursuing him, and she really acts rather submissive toward him rather than attacking. The mother dinosaur finally starts to see him as her only family alive and hence the new chapter begins. Both begin living together, but the mother dinosaur consumes all the food by herself that he catches. He becomes upset when this keeps happening repeatedly. He finally loses his composure, and the tension between them is felt by both of them. He starts looking for food because he is very hungry, but the mother dinosaur interferes again, and he begins to attack her solely because she consumes everything he finds. The two of them start fighting. They began to fight to the death when she broke his spear and gave him a lethal glare. Suddenly they saw a vast army of snakes. They are unaware that they had stumbled into a nest of enormous snakes. When the storm flushes, the entire forest, including both of them, and the snakes, and the swollen river are swept in the direction of the waterfall. The mother snake herself is being swept in their direction by the waterfall. However, the mother dinosaur nonetheless effectively bites off the giant serpent's head. Our protagonist attempts to save the mother dinosaur by using the body of the enormous serpent to attach themselves onto the rock as the two were swiftly carried towards the waterfall. She manages to save him and give him back his shattered spearhead even though the water's pace was too powerful to bear. They are friends and have a truce. The two have finally found some harmony and are now a successful team, and their relationship is strengthening. Then we learn that Fang is terrified of snakes, and he kills the one with her spear when she sees one approaching in terror, demonstrating their support for one another. In a blizzard that begins with a cold death, a herd of large mammoths emerges from the snow and ice, including an elderly, injured, and lost mammoth. He cries out for his family, but the storm drowns out his voice, as he struggles to navigate his way back home. Old as it may be, the mammoth is still tough and sends the duo both down a snow drift, but pick the hunt back up instantly as our caveman leaps onto its tusk and begins to bludge in its eye, allowing the mother dinosaur to get a lethal strike and finally knock the mammoth down. Our caveman wears his fur as clothing and carries meat with him. Mother Dinosaur refuses to carry it and leaves him to perform all the laborious work. They hold it for the night in a cave since, when the herd of mammoth returns, a pack of saber-tooth wolves immediately disperse after finishing the kill. They follow the trace of the caveman and the dinosaur. As the cave suddenly shakes, the ceiling begins to collapse and both make it outside just before it caves in completely right into them. 
Mammoth notices the tusks and understands they belong to a member of her family. Spear coincides. He is willing to offer the mammoth the tusk because he understands why they are sad and angry. Once she has taken it, she makes the decision to let them go. Fang and Spear are already in hot water when the terror under the crimson moon begins. The primate gestures for his fellow group members to come retrieve the food as we witness another humanoid holding a kill and gazing up in terror. One of their strongest members went off to pursue it. Sadly, we can now understand their source of anxiety. Giant Bats After saving the humanoid man and bringing him home with the meal, Spare easily kills a large number of them. He is captured and is carried to a great tower by the bats. Seeing her only family is in trouble she fakes being dead, so the bats can lift her and carry her to the top of the tower. She is stacked there on top of numerous carcasses. Several cocoons are also visible to her. She bites into them and discovers that the inside contains mummified human remains. She understands the rationale of a massive spider. Then the mother dinosaur rescues the caveman and they work together to vanquish the leader. The horde of bats that were protecting and feeding her strapped to some webbing. Fei and Spear make a jump for it. As the bats almost catch up to Fang and Spear, they go inside the tall grass, but the bats are attacked and killed by the drone usaurs that were hiding there. It's a bloodbath, but Fang and Spear make it out okay, as they fight with each other narrowly escaping with their own lives. They literally ride into the sunset. It appears the two can finally relax for a while after that lovely oasis of an episode. Their brand new paradise features a waterfall that is stocked with local fish. Relax on a sandy beach in a rock garden. In a word, it appears to be heaven. While the two are relaxing on the beach after a worm creeps out of Fang's footprint, causing her to experience a panic attack. After dinner, they go swimming and explore the lake, while the mother dinosaur settles in. By the time Fang leaves the water, his family has been kidnapped and is being carried away. He spots the figure of an ape man, but he is being beaten to unconscious. The two awaken, hanging on the wall and bound by vines. He is introduced to this ape tribe along with a large group of primates, monkeys. They enjoy sparring and bashing one another. He observes the sorcerer unleash a thick, black material that the strongest gorilla scoops up in its jaws. This has an immediate impact, causing the ape to quickly gain huge size, develop a horrible green tint to his skin, and turn his eyes blood red. Other dinosaurs' skulls are also in the pit. The mother dinosaur is ultimately released, and they do it to make her fight. She runs in its direction, poised to strike. She didn't realize how powerful the ape monster was, which was unfortunate. Our caveman is helpless to stop the final member of his family from being slain. Spear gets loose, desperate to save her. And before the gorilla can deal, the crushing blow Spear takes his eye. Vengeance is surfed. In order to escape the other apes, our hero scales a tower. He consumes after killing the shaman, the entire black ooze. They attempt to beat him, but he changes. Too late now. He turns into a monster. His murder is attempted by the entire clan. Now, the caveman is significantly stronger and larger. He cuts off his limbs after immediately killing them. While the other primates fight, blood and flesh are all over the monkey's limbs, legs, and other body parts. The following morning, Spear emerges from the corpses of the ape guys. The threat has been neutralized, but Fang's health is still unknown when he finds her. Despite his greatest efforts, she doesn't seem to be moving at all. Sadly, it appears that she may not have been able to leave after being attacked by the monster. He bursts into tears. To witness the person he believes to be the last of his family dead is so tragic. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on how the story progresses further. Also if you like us to cover more animes please let us know which anime we should recap next in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.